Now here we will discuss the terminology of work that how we can write the work in uh, linear dynamics, is with is angular dynamics. I know that in uh, linear dynamics or in translational dynamics. In translational dynamics, I know that work is equal to F dot X means the force and the X are a scalar multiplication. And I can then write the DW will be equal to F dot DX. And if I do integrate both sides, then I can write the W is equal to F dot DX. And this is the translational work. Now in case of the rotational work, what it will be in angular dynamics, in angular dynamics, I can write that W W, it will remain the same, but it will now be the rotational force dot the angular displacement. So DW, I can write that this is tau dot D theta. And if I integrate both sides, then I will have that W is equal to tau dot d theta and its integral. So I can write with this one the W is equal to for the linear force I will write the angular force and then this one is the linear displacement and this is the angular displacement. Now if I want to know that how quickly this work is done, how quickly this work is done, then I define another terminology which is actually power and power is defined as the work done per unit time. So how quickly this one is done, and this is work is not equal to F dot X divided by T, and I can write this is F and X by T dot, and X by T I can write is V. So F dot V, similarly, the power it will remain the same, but now I can write W by T in terms of angular dynamics. So in terms of angular dynamics, it will be tau dot theta by T and it will be equal to tau dot and theta by T I can write is omega. So it will be omega times tau times omega. So I can have this one in linear dynamics and this one in angular dynamics is the power expressions. Similarly, if I want to focus on the kinetic energy, so kinetic energy is, we know that kinetic energy we denote by T and it is equal to half mv squared and now for this v we know that v is equal to r omega so I can write that half that this is half and this is m and for this I can write r omega so it will be squared so m and omega squared now I know from my previous calculation that m r square I define is moment of inertia and then omega square 
so I can write this thing that kinetic energy T will be half for m is we did earlier m is the linear mass and this is the angular mass and for this I will write omega square so in angular dynamics I can write kinetic energy is equal to half I omega square so I can write that the role played by mass in translational dynamics the role played by mass in translational in translational dynamics is played by is played by angular mass in rotational dynamics or is played by moment of mass or moment of inertia is played by moment of inertia in rotational or angular So that's the difference between uh, terminologies for the work.